What up guys, it's Rob from TMP, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at the top five problems we see with the Minn Kota Enduro. The Minn Kota Endura has been around for over 25 years and it stood the test of time as one of the most popular transom mounted motors on the market. There's absolutely nothing wrong with buying one, but all motors do have their issues. And in this video, we're going to be showing you the top five problems we see so that you know exactly what to look out for. So starting off the list, we have the tilt lever. The tilt lever is a little plastic lever on the bracket that is attached to the hinge and the T-bar. Its job is to release the T-bar, which allows you to tilt the motor in and out of the water. We see a lot of these get broken, but good news is it's a quick and easy fix. Just punch the pin out, pop it off the T-bar, slide a new one in, and put the pin back in. And number two on the list, the T-bar. The T-bar is responsible for the tilt of your bracket and locking your motor into place. The top of it connects to the tilt lever and the bottom locks into 10 different spots giving your motor 90 degrees of tilt. This part takes on a lot of stress when you run into something so we see a lot of these break from impact. You can purchase this part by itself or we offer a T-bar tilt kit that will include the T-bar, the tilt lever, the spring, and the pin. It's an easy on the water fix so I'd recommend keeping a spare kit in the boat just in case. And now for number three on the list, we have the five-speed rotary switch. The five-speed rotary switch is located inside of the control box. It connects to the handle and it allows you to change the speeds on your motor. It has five forward speeds and three reverse speeds. The possible signs of a bad rotary switch would be your motor not running on all of these speeds or the dial seized up and not allowing you to rotate the handle. And number four on the list, the PCB control box base. The PCB control box base is strictly for the variable speed and Duramax models. It's the metal base and control board that bolts to the top of the shaft. It's the brains of the motor and it controls the variable speed operation, allowing you to dial in your exact speed. Possible signs of a bad board would be your motor not running in forward or reverse or not running on all the speeds. And last but not least, we have number five on the list, the depth collar kit. The depth collar kit consists of a plastic collar, a nut, and a tension knob. It wraps around the shaft above the mounting bracket and allows you to raise and lower the depth of the motor in the water. We see a lot of the nut cavities strip out, causing the collar to loosen and the shaft to slip. This won't keep you from operating the motor, but it will keep you from raising it up in shallow water. So that covers it for the Minn Kota Endura Top 5 Problems. If you guys need to pick any of these parts up, I'll have links down in the description below. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and as always, keep trolling.